Now, in 1943, 160 people lost their lives when HMS Welshman from Chatham was torpedoed by a German submarine. Now, over six decades later, those who died have been remembered at a special commemoration in Kent. Victoria Heath has our report. Sixty-five years after HMS Welshman sank off the North African coast, the 160 servicemen who died haven't been forgotten. Here at Chatham Maritime, some of the few survivors have gathered to remember that tragic day all those years ago. One of six specially constructed mine layers, the ships were described as the fastest in the fleet. But HMS Welshman's journey to Malta on the 1st of February was stopped short after it was torpedoed twice by a German submarine. We stayed afloat for, I suppose, a good hour or more, and we were preparing to slowly edge our way back into the port when suddenly the bulkheads, one of the bulkheads, went and she started to go down by the stern. When it happened, we knew what it was, and we knew there was nothing we could do about it and hope that the ship could stay afloat for a little while longer. Sadly, it didn't. When the ship started to go down, the crew had to jump. It happened so quickly, they didn't even have time to put out lifeboats. Looking at this picture here, the shore base is over here, and I knew that my, I was on it because I stood in a position I knew where I'd be, and that's me there. I know that was myself because I was the only one standing there. Out of the 222 people on board the HMS Welshman that day, only 60 survived. As the ship was carrying supplies to Malta, many of the people living there feel they owe their lives to the servicemen who died there 65 years ago. With three of the survivors sadly passing away last year, photos and letters are some of the only reminders of the ill-fated trip. I try to remember faces. I can think of names, I only have to look on that board over there and I can see names of those who I worked with, but I can't put a face to them anymore. They've all gone, sadly. Victoria Heath for Meridian tonight. Time for the sport now and let's cross to Ian McBride in the newsroom for a roundup of all the weekend action. Ian.